<laughs> so I'm sitting here with uh, Stelios uh, Butari of no. uh, Kiriane Vineyard. Kiriane State. Yeah. Kiriane State. First of all, explain to us where where are we sitting now? We were just having lunch in a wonderful restaurant. Restaurant, but where are we? Located? Well, we are uh, we are in Nausa, the city of Nausa in northwestern Greece, uh, in the little commune, the little village of Stranza, in the place called Arako Casano. Arako Casano means the the Cipuro, which is in, in Greek means grappa uh, 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 di uh, um, distillery. <laughs> Uh, the little winery here next door, uh, and uh, we're having a great lunch. <laughs> and Kiriani Vineyard, so Kiriani Estate. So, what what kind of wine producer is that? Well, we are a small producer in um, in Ausa, in the village of Yana Kohori. Um, we focus really on the production of uh, premium Xenomavro. Xenomavro is uh, one of those unique Greek varieties. Uh, that, that grows all over Western Greece, uh, a variety that, um, when cultivated well and the right soils, can be very deserving. Uh, when cultivated uh, in the wrong place, uh, can be very vigorous and um, and produce quite acidic and, and green wines. Uh, our life, uh, I'm. Um, my grandfather's, my father's, our life, and possibly my son's <laughs> or my daughter's life is, um, is spent in trying to make the best out of Xenomavro. Um, so, uh, Xenomavro, uh, just to try and uh, explain a bit, li li bit more in detail, Xenomavro is one of the traditional red Greek grape varieties. Right, it's one of the, the varieties that grows all over Western Greece. Um, what kind of uh, characteristics do you have the, in the wine? Uh, Summer is, uh, is a variety that uh, is, is, is not... Very, a lot of people um, resemble it to Pinot Noir, which I'm not... Uh, it's really because of its color. It doesn't have a very intense color. It becomes reddish and not bluish. But, uh, but I think it's very similar to Nebbiolo of, um, of, 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 of the north of Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, good tannins, good structure, Nice acidity. Uh, the idea is try to take the best fruit out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, try to have. Um, it has a very distinctive aroma of, of olives, tomatoes, cigar box, leather. All these um, very very distinctive flavors. Um, <coughs> And you be very nice and fruity, big in the mouth. Have a very nice long aftertaste. Well, especially the tannins are ripe. Mm -hmm. My impression is that it's actually quite a powerful wine uh -huh. with quite a lot of tannin uh -huh. that might need some softening, yeah. running off. Yeah. I would rather liken it, as you say, to a, a Piemonte Nebbiolo yeah. wine or a, maybe even a Syrah wine yeah. rather than a Pinot Noir. Yeah. Well, it's always it's always the case. Is that uh, you know, with these wines, we drink them young. It's always nice to, 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 to if, we, if we were able to keep them a bit longer yeah. and try to, to, to drink them five, six, seven years after after the vintage. Um, still, um, uh, more and more people I think like big, big structured wines. I think Snowmaro is one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, others compare with Nebbiolo or a big Syrah. Well, it's, it's different. I think that's what uh, it's really unique, and then that's what's uh, great about it. Let's let's get back to your uh, winery, your uh, yeah. vineyards. Your father, uh, who was Yanis uh, Botare, yeah. he's a bit of an emblematic figure. Right. T tell us a bit about him. Well, he's really the the um, the, the patriarch, the pope of Greek wine, <laughs> uh, and not only. <laughs> he's he's one of those people who has spent all his life trying to promote uh, and uh, Greek wine in general. Yeah. Of course, um, all, all his efforts were spearheaded by his, by his winery, Kiryani. Uh, uh, however, the idea was always to, to try to change the image of, 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 of Greek wine yeah. um, uh, and trying to improve it. Uh, he's, a, he's very much of a fantastic character, you know. Uh, uh, he, between his winemaking, he spent some time running for mayor of Salonika or preserving the bears in the north of Greece. <laughs>
But now it's you who are uh, who are running the vineyards. Yes. Uh, well, he's very good in letting go, uh, and uh, I was very happy to have him. And uh, he let me ever since I got involved in the winery. Uh, uh, four years ago, he he really let me do whatever I like. <laughs> where, where do you want to take it from now? Well, um, the idea is to get on the world wine map. Yeah. Uh, really try to establish Kiryani as one of the top producers in the world. Yeah. And uh, how do you think you'll do that? Well, it takes some time, but we'll get there. <laughs> Focus on 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 uh, our, our indigenous varieties. Sonoma Ro, mostly in in in, um, in Ausa and Roditis in uh, in um, in Amindion, uh, an area a little bit close to here where we have our white wine vineyards, and also uh, by spending and investing in the vineyard. Good wine is made in the winery. Great wine is made in the vineyard. And uh, that's where we will make the difference. And you've made a lot of work in the vineyards we saw. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And I think that's that's where we're going to keep investing. I think we're looking forward to an interesting future in a couple of years' time with your wine. Thank you very much for being with us, Kiriani Vineyards. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.